This is the electronic dice do-it-yourself kit. Uh, it cost around $3. Let's check out the parts. We'll start with the board. It is not the greatest quality, but it does label which pieces go where. It also comes with one CD40 chip and a 555 and these so that if the chip burns out, you can just pull it out and not worry about resoldering the project. Seven LEDs, two pins, presumably for the power and a small cord to attach them to, a 104 ceramic capacitor, a one microfarad electrolytic capacitor, a slew of resistors, one button, five transistors, they are all 8050. So let's get going. I'll start with the chips. The CD4017 goes here and the NE55 goes right there. Then the transistors, you can see four of them go here and one goes up here. The seven LEDs go in these circles. The smaller leg of the LED is the negative side and the arrows should be pointing towards that. The button goes right over here. The pins for the power go over here. Next, the capacitors. The ceramic 104 goes here and the electrolytic one microfarad over here. The last part is to connect the resistors. They go here, above and below this LED, above and below the chip, and two on the side here. Once you're done with the resistors, as you can see, these six LEDs represent the, uh, the dice, and then the data is all done here. Let's plug it in and see it in action. The LEDs all blink, push the button, and it chooses the number five. Now for some thoughts. Some of the things I like about it. It comes with the ability to remove the chips if you need to. It provided the cables that you can attach to the power. It also has a lot of soldering if you're trying to practice. And it's an interesting item. Some of the negatives. The board is not very high quality. It doesn't have an on and off switch. I've also noticed that it sometimes prefers doing the same number over and over, for example. Overall, I would not recommend this product and would rate it a 3 out of 10.